My newest merch item. <gasps> yeah, nobody has it yet. Nobody has it? Yeah. Oh my god! This is so sick. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> Hello, friends. This is Pao Fu, and this is Billboard News. <laughs> Everybody, it's Rania Niftos with Billboard News, and I'm here in studio with Pafu. Welcome. Hello, thank you. I am so glad you're here. First things first, do you want me to call you Pafu or you want me to call you Isaiah? Call me Isaiah. Okay. <laughs> so his real name's Isaiah, guys. It is not Pafu. I discovered you, like most other people, on TikTok. And then I just thought that you were an incredible musician because then I started learning that you make all your songs, you produce by yourself in your room, you direct and film your own music videos. You're like a one-man show. How did you start getting into music? My first memory was I walked into the living room and my parents bought me a drum set when I was two years old. When I was 12, that's when I really started like trying to write stuff and cool. I was into poetry a lot. My dad built a studio right beside our house and then so I'd go in there and I'd watch him make music. I stole a microphone from my dad. So I took that into my bedroom, downloaded GarageBand and I just got addicted to it basically and then I started getting like numbers pretty quick. I can't see through the wall of my sin. You have lots and lots and lots of songs on your mm -hmm. SoundCloud, and then mm -hmm. Deathbed is the one that got to number 23 on the Hot 100. I don't want to fall asleep, I don't want to pass away. I've been thinking of our future because I'll never see those days. Why do yeah. you think that's the one? that blew up out of all the ones when you were just cranking out songs? I guess just the deep lyrics. That's like a big thing for me. It's like, I really care about lyrics, you know? Mm -hmm. At that time, I felt like a lot of hip hop music was just talking about like the same thing, like drugs and girls and all the partying aspect. And so I just wanted to make something a bit more real. Deathbed is kind of a perspective of somebody who died young. Yeah. Where did you get the inspiration for that? I was really into like Nicholas Sparks. Interesting. Yeah, it's so like all that <laughs> romance stuff. I've never heard of anybody talking from that perspective of somebody dying, you know? I kind of just put myself in those shoes and wrote out all the feelings that I thought I'd be getting if it was a real event. I wish it could be me, but I won't make it off this bed. On a lighter note, you did just release a version, a pop punk ish mm -hmm. version of Taylor Swift's Mine. What if this song you are the best thing that's ever been was punk rock? I said, I remember how we fell sitting by the water. Where did that come from? I would not peg you as yeah. a Taylor Swift fan. <laughs> yeah, I really like Taylor Swift. I think, I think she's pretty awesome. But growing up, my dad and my mom, like I guess they stayed up late or something, mm -hmm. and they didn't want to wake us up, so they would just like blast music every single night so that we'd get used to sleeping with like noise. And it was usually Taylor Swift, Rune 5, The Beatles, or Yellow Card. For people who don't know, Pauf is actually, Isaiah's married, and mm -hmm. is your wife a big Taylor Swift fan, like I'm sure there's some way that that came yeah. into play as Yeah, well. for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll jam out to, to Taylor Swift a lot. It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. She's like my first like serious relationship I had. Cute. Yeah. I'm gonna test my wife, see how well she knows my music. First song. Um, Dead Eyes. I'll come back to you. I miss the old you. Whoa! I feel like you're better than I am. A lot of your songs follow this theme of what the day-to-day -day of depression actually feels like. How do you tap into that vulnerability? Since I started making music, it's, it's been easier for me to write about the sad things in life, I feel like, than the happier moments. I think there's just more feelings and more words around the, the sadness. Pouring you wine, you pouring my blood, wipe out my life in need of a flight. I'll think of like, things that happened in my past or different stories and, and all that and it kind of just all flows out at once. You know? So your EP is called Surrounded by Hounds and Serpents. Mm -hmm. So how did you get to that title? In my life there's a lot of people that I've met that are like fake or only want you for the wrong reasons you know. Over the years I feel like I've gotten better at being weary and like looking at my surroundings you know and is spotting out who those people are. Coming up, you have an EP that's dropping on December 2nd, which is very exciting. What are you most excited for fans to hear about your new music? I feel like I'm just getting better every song I make. And I don't drop too many projects. I feel like I drop a lot of singles. There's going to be nine songs in this one. How do you <laughs> decide which ones go on the EP? That's a good question. I've picked the songs that are like different from each other so that a person will like at least one of the songs on the right. album, you know? Right. Maybe why you've been so foolish, don't gotta put me through this. Laying on a dirt floor, missing all the tools. So you play Beyblade. Yeah. with your fans yeah. on tour. And I thought maybe we could play. So for safety the purposes, goggles. you have yeah. to wear oh, cuffs. Because wow. <laughs> it could get crazy. Chosey 
Achilles is yours. Mine is Chosy Valterac. You gotta yell <laughs> three, two, one, let it rip. Three, <laughs> two, one, let it rip! No! <laughs> I feel bad. You won. Okay, two out of three. Let it rip. Okay, we're done. He won two out of three. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> so thank you so much, Isaiah. This was everything. This was like a childhood dream re-come true. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming and speaking with us yeah, today. Thank you for having me. That, that was awesome. And make sure you listen to Palfu's album, Surrounded mm -hmm. by Hounds and Serpents, out on December 2nd. <laughs> I am the most excited you've ever seen me. <laughs> <laughs>